Hi everybody. Hope everybody is having a great day. Uh, I was going to talk about today a little something. Now, I've been doing a lot of research for my wife with the cancer stuff and doing all that. Um, and came across, you know, just drinking distilled water. And I've heard about drinking distilled water before, but I never really looked into it too much. So I did some looking in. And... Now, some people say that drinking distilled water it strips all of your like minerals and everything out of your body, and it's not good for you, they say. But in reality, what distilled water does strip out of you is all the inorganic minerals and stuff that are in your body, like, uh, you know, rocks and dirt and whatever that your body does not use. That your body cannot use the inorganic minerals now the plants when they grow they use the inorganic minerals and they turn the inorganic minerals into something that we can eat through you know photosynthesis and they 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 can use that stuff but our bodies can't it just goes and it gets in our tissues and it kind of it just clogs you all up so what distilled water does because it's zero parts per million so it's like pure water i don't know it's kind of silly when you think that people are saying that drinking pure water isn't good for you. <laughs> I mean, I want to drink the purest water that I can. So, but what distilled water does then is when you drink that, because it's clean, it, it acts as like a sponge when it's in your body and it, t and it pulls out all of these inorganic minerals that have been storing up in our body through our whole life drinking just regular tap water or whatever. And another thing, what, uh, like a distiller like this, this does one gallon at a time. It takes like five hours for it to distill one gallon. But it it works great, you know. It's not too loud. The fan runs a little bit, but... Um, so look, I uh, distilled three gallons of water. And I have just well water here. I'm not hooked up to the city or anything like that. And... So I was saving the stuff that I would get out of the distiller here in this pot right here. When it's all finished, you get the, the leftover stuff of what you had in your water. Check this out. Seriously. It's, uh, I mean, it's not, sorry. It's just, uh, that's just out of three gallons. Now, I don't want to drink that. I didn't know I was drinking that before. So, even though I thought I had great water having, you know, well, not hooked up to city water or anything, it's still, it, my water, I, I tested it, it was like 236 parts per million of the total dissolved solids. So started looking into that and that's it's just all the dissolved stuff that's in the water that uh you want pure now if you if you are worried you know about getting minerals from stuff you don't get minerals from the water you drink anyways that your body uses you get minerals from the foods that you eat but you can add you know trace mineral drops to the distilled water when it's done and then it won't be distilled anymore it'll just be like a more expensive uh, mineral water that you get but these trace minerals that i have right here there's you know magnesium in it chloride sodium potassium sulfate lithium and boron and this is just uh, uh and it's ionic so our bodies they, they, our, our bodies can use the ionic uh minerals that's what that's what they need. So if you just thought maybe some, some of you guys would like to know about distilled water, there's a lot of research on it, but there's a lot of the other people saying that it's also bad for you. But So I guess it takes common sense too. I don't think anybody's ever died from drinking pure water before. It just cleans your body out, keeps it clean, keeps all the stuff out of it that doesn't need to be there. So... I just thought I would share what I've learned on that. And I will talk to you guys later. See you, love you, bye.